A bam, and welcome to tabs. Wow, always more tabs. And today, we are doing Angry Tom, the final movie showdown. Worlds collide. Something's gone awfully wrong. Worlds that should not meet are being combined in unexpected ways, and they're bringing a new wave of chaos to the world of tabs. For one last time, take up the director's chair. Conquer the forces of the first and second showdown one final time and fulfill your destiny a slasher slaughter. Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees join forces to slaughter the innocents. Can you defeat these movie slashers one last time? Most objective, fight horror with horror. Win using only the spooky faction. Oh, they're such innocent boys. And they are up against, ooh, Freddy Krueger. Uh, and I guess the his director who is keeping him alive, and Jason Voorhees. Oh my God, he's got a lot of got a lot of heels, and uh, we've got to try and take these boys down with only the spookums. Mm, what about Candlehead? Can we get two Candleheads? I feel like Candleheads would be like pretty legit in this fight. And then, oh, we can't get two. Maybe we get three archers, one Candlehead. Let's see how this goes. Okay, the Jester, assuming we hit him early. Uh, pretty strong. Okay, uh, <laughs> right. He's dealt with three archers versus an executioner. He does have heals. Man, the Candlehead really has to do some damage here. Uh, not damage, like knockback. Oh, he's on fire. Is that gonna be enough to kill him? Uh-oh, the skellies are dying. The skellies are dying. He's getting healed. The skellies are dead. Oh! <gasps> Jason died. Um, wow, is it really only one of those candlehead candles to kill one of the boys? Okay. Uh, mission complete. What a boy. The Harryhausen special. Jason and Perseus team up and attempt to defeat all the iconic Dynamation foes once and for all. Will they escape? Gape the Gorgon's lair alive? Bonus objective, ensure both Jason and Perseus, any two hoplites survive the battle. We are up against a snake archer. Oh, oh god, a load of snake archers. Feels bad, really bad. Don't want snake archers, feels bad. Ooh, Valkyries. Combine the powers of all the good boys and Man, yeah. Vulcan up. Should we even take like a healer in there? I feel like 70 points. We may as well have a sacrificial clubber. He's like a snake clubber. <gasps> like in The Simpsons. Do you remember when they went to club snakes? I feel like the Valk just kind of handles... Oh my god, they super exploded those skelly bones. Um, they can take like a couple of arrows, but I think they're going to die in this assault. Oh god, they are... Like weird flea floating. <gasps> the clubber! Oh, he got spooked. But he's alive. Oh my god. Club me a river. Oh god, the clubber did great. Oh, we've won this, but with only one hoplite? Not the answer. Okay, right, we brought more hoplites. Uh, hopefully that means better chance of success. Okay, the Valkyries do a pretty good job over Skeleton Hill. <gasps> you fell to your death, you fool. Oh wait, though you can get back. Oh my god, dodging missile attacks. Ooh, other Valkyrie has dealt with the Ice Archer. Fantastic. Two of them live. Great success. Valkyries. Valkyries were the answer to snakes. The snakes just can't get them. Like, snakes just can't eat birds. Everyone knows that. The Cornetto Trio, in a world that now makes use of zombies as a labor force, reports that Skinner is at large again. Have the police, led by Nicholas Angel, stormed the new Summerfield Mega Mart, accompanied by a salesman named Sean, and a troubled party boy who calls himself Gary King. Bring Gary King's friends to the battle, win by placing exactly four man-sized units only. Oh no, here's the new Summerfield Mega Mart. Oh my god, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So is this Skinner? Or is this Skinner? Oh my god, there's a lot of boys. Dragon. Four man-sized units. He didn't say what they could be holding. I feel like that is 10,000 IQ. Uh, 
Um, oh, it's working pretty well. It's working pretty well. Not amazingly, but we killed some of the stuff. Is that cheating? There were four man-sized units. Didn't, didn't specify what kind of weapons they would have. Right, most of their stuff is dead. It's mainly a sword caster and a couple of hobby toes. Uh, musket is doing pretty good fire support up there. Personally, count this as a win. I think, assuming... I feel like that we're going to be able to deal with this last guy hiding out back here. Blano? Oh, good job. Four man-sized units. We did it. The Tolkien Tag Team. Thorin and company finds itself fighting back to back with the Fellowship as they're beset from all sides by orcs and goblins. Bonus objective, take control of a unit and slay the troll. They have a cave troll. I'm guessing this is like Thorin and co with Bilbo. Very cool. Uh, Legolas and Gimli and uh, Aragorn and Boromir and the Halflings and Gandalf and <laughs> then bonus archers. Uh, so this is going to be Bard who shoots down Smaug with um, you know the Black Arrow. Very cool. We have Farmer Maggot. Um, what is dogs called? Grip, Fang, and Wolf. I think. Look it up. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Oh, we can have like the King of the Dead and some of his his um, his boys. We'll have like Faramir and some of the Rangers. Oh, and King Theoden. Love him. What a great guy. Now we've got a whole load of whole load of that good stuff. Um, okay, Ballista, you have a job which is troll hunting. Ooh, oh, he did hit him. Look at it, pierced in the side. Okay, King Theoden is doing great work over there. The farmer maggot is still standing, but his doggos have died. Oh god, we, we got killed. Okay, farmer maggot, man, don't tussle with him. He'll kill you. Uh, oh, Faramir's rangers have kind of got a bit mangled. But Gimli, ooh, sort of tanking it out but is dead, and the dwarves just going to finish off the last of the orcs. We got him. We got him. The tale of Sir not appearing in this film. On his quest to gather knights from across the land to his cause, King Arthur hears tale of fell scaled beasts plaguing the ruined land. As he and his knights approach the castle, they are caught off guard and attacked from all directions. Sir not appearing in this film and his chief raptor hunter, Robert Muldoon, <laughs> wow, um, sally forth uh, with their men to rescue the king. Knowing a beast far deadlier than any raptor stalks the land. Bone subjective. When most ensuring Sir Robin's bards are slain in the fight, there'll be much rejoicing. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Old Muldoon there. Very cool. We've got like 4,000 points. Let's just put a tank down and just see what happens. Um, I don't want to, like, search for where all of the raptors are hiding. Oh, there's one. Okay, and all the bards have to die. Oh, God, well, I guess if we just shoot our own boys and chop our own boys, that's one way for us to win this. Ooh, that's a lot of monkey kings. Um, I don't think a tank can kill all of those monkey kings. Okay, one bard lives... Oh man, Monkey King is bad for business. Okay, Robert Muldoon was killed by the tank. Um, ooh, jeez, that's a bad fight. Wow. Okay, one of the Monkey Kings died. God, the tank can't spin. Oh, did we just ace? Oh my god, we aced it. Um, we did the objective. We just used the tank. Man, that was meant to be just like a little testo warm-up, but turns out, very good at games. Kingus Kongus. Maximus and his fellow gladiators face their toughest challenge yet. King Kong himself, with the support of some biplanes, defeat the great ape and win your freedom. A bonus objective, win using units from one faction. Select that faction by spinning the Wheel of Warriors. Okay, let's see what faction we get. Ooh, 
is that pirate or renaissance? Probably pirate. It was pirate. We've got old King Kong and a whole load of boys. Maximus and his warrior friends. Oh, uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of these guys, wheelbarrows. God, I feel like a cannon would be good, but maybe like harpooners, just to like cause a bit of like like nonsense to go on. I'm just gonna try eight to start with and just see how they they do. Uh, okay, miss is the answer. Oh, some have latched onto King Kong. Oh god, those chariots instantly cause absolute carnage in the middle. Uh, they, they like also pump out quite a lot of crew as well. Um, so I'm pretty sure just the Valkyries. I think like one Valkyrie can just kill the giant. Um, we did it, and yeah, just a single, single wheelbarrow left. Oh god, it's spinning around. Oh, they've still got like a crewman over there. Oh, he's dead. And this guy just like kind of, oh, uh, he couldn't. Oh my god! Oh, I love this. Look at this! Like they're marching along. Kamikaze Tatsumaki Katsumoto leads an ambush against the new Japanese Imperial Army, but doesn't account for the sun turning weather. A fierce tornado sweeps its way onto the battlefield, taking advantage of the chaos. Ben and Joe seek to deploy their research device unhindered. Oh my god, so it's a Lost Samurai uh, tornado crossover. Love it. Uh, create a tornado of your own. Wow, I don't think I'd ever consider the crossover of <laughs> those two movies. We can do it with Blockbeard. Oh, this looks good. People are being sucked in. Okay, that. That's a big tornado. Are we bigger? We're not bigger, but... The comparable. Okay, so now it's the battle of the Giga Tornadoes. And... We're gonna get shot by a lot of guns. Oh my god, but he just drives through that gun line just like it's nothing. Oh my god. Avatar the Last Airbender, am I right? Look at Ang go. This is just how I remember it going. What a pro. Okay, so Tornado Wars... Lady Red Jade and Blackbeard, very comparable in points. But Blackbeard, I always feel like, is a bit, like, tankier. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to really tell how the fight's going, <gasps> but we've won. Um, they've got a few guns left. Uh-oh, as long as we don't go off the edge, we're probably gonna be okay. And we've still got a couple of archers, like, throwing in some dinks. Not a lot, but some. God, have we... <gasps> Okay, right, Blackbeard has killed himself. Very poor show. I don't think there's any way these guys win. Oh no. Oh, bam, just socked him. And someone's at the bottom of the meat pile. Oh, I see him. Doing like a helpy Henderson. God, he tried to shoot me. Uh... Come on. Come on, he's using my my guy's bodies to... <laughs> okay, this is... Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Got him. That's, that's what you get. Flash Wars. Uh, episode Dive. Ming Strikes Back. Two evil galactic empires joined as one to crush all those who would rebel against their rule. Does the resistance stand any hope? With Flash Gordon leading the way, they just might. Flash! Bonus objective, win whilst fulfilling any two of the following. Oh my god. Uh, don't let your shield generator get destroyed. Ensure Flash Gordon, the wheelbarrow dragon operator, survives the battle. Gordon's alive. There's no... Oh, if it's just the operator, he might live. Kill the 8080 with harpooners. God, that's going to be hard work. Okay, so here's our catapult. Oh my god, I love him. Just swinging around. Okay, we found him. He's there with Brian Blessed and uh, Volton, Lord of the Birdmen. Okay, right, we need a lot of harpooners to take these guys down. I also think we need some arty to kind of like try and thin out those ranks a little bit. Okay, we've got some harpoons, but I think we need, we need some snacks. 
we need stuff that's going to be causing distractions to the enemy. Also, I want to keep track of... Oh my god, he just fell and like really busted his back. Okay, two else. The longer he stays out of the fight, the better. Um, wow, he's really, like, really running in. My dude. Not like this. Gordon. Oh. Just like... I, I think without controlling him, we're gonna really struggle. Um, ooh, snakes have done great work over here. Uh, ooh, he's harpooned. He's dead. Does that count as a harpoon kill? Maybe. Shit, what happened to Gordon? God, you take your eyes off him for just five seconds and he just goes crazy. Where is he? How? <gasps> Wait, there he is. Oh my god, and he's stuck, which is perfect. Uh, Valkyries are in the back line. Um, all the elephants have got, like, harpoons in them. This one's got one, like, straight in the, in the haircut. Ooh, two elephants live. Not super good. Oh my god, and like, the, the guns on this side actually did really well. Oh no, that means there's still plenty of time for Gordon to die. Oh, hang back, please. Anyone else go in front. Someone fire a snake. Oh god, Gordon is very close. Oh, there are snakes up there. Oh no. Oh, you've got a snake ally. Oh, blam! Oh, oh god, he's doing great. Uh-oh, how's the catapult? Right, shield generator is fine. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Um, Gordon lives. Bam! I kind of feel like we got all three. Maybe a questionable mammoth kill, but we definitely got the others. The Triad of the Axe and Katana. <gasps> wow. Oh, Ren and Brother Sum form an uneasy alliance to take down their respective enemies. Can you defeat the combined might of Japan and China's most powerful criminal under-empires? Slay Brother Sum, the Yarl, or Oh Ren, by making them fall into the pit. Okay, so this is a Kung Fu Hustle Kill Bill uh, combo. And we are up against, God, we're up against the Axe Gang and the Crazy 88. Oh my God, did you actually put down 88 Samurai? Do you count? I do. Let's count together. You crazy bastard. You actually put 88 samurai down. And I... I counted them. Uh, okay, amazing. Right, what was even the mission? To make people fall in the hole. Okay, I feel like we've got like a good... A good, like, angle here. Uh, maybe the harpooners are just a waste of time. And we just want more... More fan and air-based combat. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Oh, wow, they pulled the Jarl. God, that feels bad. Suddenly grabbing a big boy and having him in just in our back lines. Um, ooh, although he's swung. Oh no, they both knocked themselves off into the water. Okay, very bad. What is going on there? What is this big, like, love pile? God, oh, there's like a big group hug. Okay, we've got to rethink this formation. If, like, if she comes in a bit more, maybe it'll work. Ooh. 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 <gasps> she is out of there. Very good. Um, okay, is he going to go under the river again? God, he always gets stuck there. That is pretty weird. Pretty, like, consistently wacky. They might be able to push him in the water. <gasps> okay, it's not the pit, but it is a falling base death, which is kind of fun as well. And then, I guess we just 
fan the samurai to death. Oh, or just let the twin pirate queens kind of get the kill. Um, oh, I don't know. Fans, fans are sort of doing this. Oh, good job. Okay, we got one of them in the pit. The divine and the damned. The god king Xerxes invoked the power of the Necronomicon to call forth deadite minions. A band of Spartans led by their king marched forth, accompanied by the knights from the far-flung land and a mysterious stranger called Ash, who claims to come from the future. Bonus objective, show Xerxes the power of a real god by including one in your force. Okay, right, what are we up against? We have got, ooh, spooky minions uh, coming out of the crypts, and then a bunch of goons all coming down the stairs, and is that Xerxes? Wow. God, there's a lot of, like, just goons, like, goofing around. Well, I feel like let's give each of these, like, a reaper. Uh, maybe we should put it a bit further back. Okay, reaper to reap up that stuff. There's only one, like, real god unit in this game. Uh, right here. Boom. Ancients. That's right. It's a ballista. That's the only god that I respect in this game. Bam. Cheerleader ballista. Let's see if this will take Xerxes out. Also, kind of thematic. Because, um, doesn't he, you know, he, he gets, it's like a ballista that fires him at the end of 300, right? Oh, god. The, uh, the knight's having a pretty sad time of it. Oh, there's Ash. Just, like, blasting away. Very good. There's his car, driving around. Can we get the king? <gasps> we did! We sniped the king through the crowd. Bam. That's how you take out Xerxes. You want to see a true god? Bam. Over there. Two wheels, big old bolt, and just, like, a humble little boy, just firing away. Look at him do his job. Bam. God tier. Look at the strength. The power of the bolt. All praise the bolt. Uh, ooh, maybe just friendly fired. See, he wasn't a true believer. Bam. Is this a win? We've got, like, enough dudes that it feels like... Feels like a win. Oh no, these guys- oh guys, come on, you're supposed to be fighting, what are you up to? Please sirs. Oh god, your spear is just super, super not good for these stairs. <gasps> we did it! Oh my god, the swordcaster! He snuck around and then just annihilated them. That's what you get for goofing. Goofing off. A uh, victory! We have victory! Congratulations, you've vanquished all your foes! And stand supreme as both the greatest director and general of tabs. I hope you enjoyed this campaign. Did you complete any of the bonus objectives? I think I did pretty well. I think we did pretty good. Holy shit. Well, you're recovering from the plague right now. Holy shit, I hope you're feeling better. Uh, these campaigns have been amazing. Absolutely loved them. They are so good. Uh, thank you so much. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye. Oh, hello. It's me, the Ballista Guy. Hope you enjoyed these videos. They were real good fun. Yes. I'm glad that Tom thinks that I'm a god-tier unit, because I am! Ha <laughs> ha! I hope you hit like buttons the same way that I hit Xerxes with my spear. Ooh, got him, coach. Until next time, goodbye!